All right, am I centered? Ah, let's drink. Ooh, look at my new rug. I love this. Ooh. I have here two mats because I kind of want to maximize the space and because the floor is very cold. This is the Oko Living Yoga Mat. It's actually a non-toxic yoga rug. If you guys want to see me unbox this, I actually posted it in my other channel. <laughs> that was my old one that I haven't been really active for three years. All right, without further ado, all you will need here is yoga mat and yourself. And let's begin in a Sukhasana. Oh, but wait, before we begin, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so hit that subscribe button if you're new here and also make sure to give this video a like if you end up enjoying this class at the end of this video that would help me a lot so that I know that you end up liking this type of class all right let's begin Okie dokie starting in Sukhasana find your easy cross-legged seated position whichever is on top is fine and let's take a moment to find stillness first. I want you to think tall. Make sure your spine is really sitting tall. Shoulders are relaxed. Roll it back away from your ears. Close your eyes. Have your hands onto your knees. And one breath cycle. Big breath in through your nose. And exhale. Now just find your steady breath. I want you to get a feel of your own body here. Sending signal to that part of your body where it needs to be moving. Breathing. Letting your body know that, hey, I'm going to be working on you today. So take it easy on me. <laughs> Make sure that you're breathing steadily here. Good. Open your eyes. Welcome to your practice. Okay, we're gonna start by warming up the wrists. So have your wrists close and we're gonna rotate our wrists to one direction first. There's gonna be no right or wrong here. So I want you to feel your own body, okay? Modify according to what your body needs. And then let's reverse the rotation. So if it's too impossible or it feels very iffy for you to get onto the pose, do not push it, right? Sometimes the fear is a good um, use it wisely, wherein if it's like that fear of you're scared to go there, meaning your body might not be ready for that yet. All right, now open your, eye, your hands super wide and all the way, really energy from each fingertips. You're not relaxed, okay? You're going to do this for 10 and then close, open, close, open. Seven, six, five, all the way, four, three, two, and one. Open, open, open. Keep it there. All the way. Energy from each fingertip. And relax. Good. Shake it up. Now I'm going to face the sides, okay? Have your hands planted down on the mat, and you're just going to start to shift forward and back with your Sukhasana position. Or your... um easy cross-legged position. We're gonna warm up the wrist this way. This is great to have this like um, cross-legged position so that you're kind of opening now your hips area as you shift forward and back. Okay, now your right hand facing to the right side as you continue to shift forward and back. So you're gonna not stop your shifting forward and back as we rotate our hand one uh, direction at a time and then the left hand to the left good good then your right hand facing now palm up the top so of your hand is planted down and fingertips towards you Good. Continue to shift forward and back. And then the left hand. Tops of your hand. 
good on the mat same thing with the right hand continuing to breathe and really pressing those um, the base knuckles too right not just the tops of the palms good now again the right this time you're gonna face to towards your hands or your um, self, the, the fingertips. And as you shift back, see you're lifting the half of your palm, right? Continue to do that on the left, and then do it on the left side too, okay? So both, this is a great way to kind of train your body to not do everything uh, simultaneously. Breathe. Good. Now steady, release the cross-legged position and I want your knees as wide as your mat. Now press all the way back as you sit down, lift the half of your palms up. Stay there and this is just like a hold. Good. <laughs> Good. Now shift forward, hips, hips up and you're going to have your wrist to touch okay so fingertips to the left and right and wrist to touch so if i'm gonna face you it's this way okay so have your wrist to touch and you're gonna lean to the left side five four three two one and lean to the right side four five four three adjust yourself two one Always adjust yourself to where you feel it's comfortable. Now shift back, sit down, hold. Shift forward. So shoulders past the wrist, hold. Good, now curl your toes under and sit on your heels. Now coming into your Malasana squat. Good job. Good. Now from your Malasana squat, we're just going to start to tip toes. Good. Tip. Heels down. Tip your toes and down. Breathe. Just always reminding you to breathe because typically we tend to, you know, stop breathing when we are so kind of indulged in that position, right? All right, now close your fist and I want you to insert it in between your legs this way. Good. From this position, I know if this is a little bit hard for you, you can modify. Put something on your heels to elevate your heels if you're not very good with your malasana yet. All right, so open your hands wide and you're going to start to pulse your butt up and down, right? Just baby pulses and you feel that in your wrists. That helps to really wake, awaken your, you feel that blood getting stopped around the hands and the wrists and the fingertips, right? Good. Now steady, close and sandwich those wrists as you close your fists. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to open all the way and close. Five, four. Three, open all the way. Two, you're not relaxed there. And one, hold ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You could even give it some pulses. Three, two, one. Good. Release slowly. Whoo. Shake it up. Get back the blood over there. <laughs> Good job. And then let's um, start in a supine position. I like to warm up in a uh, stretching position and a uh, twisting rather. So I want you to have your hands all the way up and we're going to start in banana pose. Okay, so cross your right leg on top of the left. Good. And then you're going to uh, sweep your legs to that right side first. Okay, from this position, you're gonna grab your left wrist with your right hand and pull that wrist to the right. Good, like a banana shape, right? This is your banana pose. Hold and breathe. You can relax your head and pull that left 
armpits, you feel that being stretched side of your body. All the way, point all your toes, stretch as if you just woke up. One more breath cycle, inhale, exhale, coming back to your center. Good. Now let's do that on the other side. If you feel that you're right, you like the other one on top, that depends on you, right? That might be different for everyone, but I like my left um, foot on top of the right. And then point it now, facing the left side. Same thing what we did earlier. Grab the other wrist now, the right wrist with the left hand, and pull to the left for your other side of banana pose. Good. Stretch and point the toes. Breathe. Stretched armpits. Ooh, bend. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath in. Exhale back to your center. This time, bend your knees. Good. Figure four shape. Right foot on top of the left knee. Okay, from here, you're just going to send it in towards your chest and you're going to hook or thread that right arm underneath that right leg and to the backs of your leg. Now, flex both feet. Good. And then you're going to push it towards your chest. Good. Flex all the way. Whoo, so good stretch, right? If it pops, that's good. I love that. Mine no longer pops. It's hard for me to pop these days. <laughs> I'm so flexible. <laughs> but I still get a pop for sure. <laughs> Especially if I'm sitting to sitting for a while. Okay, from here, you're gonna send it far from your chest and grab the knee with your uh, left hand and you're just gonna twist and drop that right foot to the left. Ooh, yeah. So you could drop that left foot, whatever you feel good here. You're just kind of twisting and oh, feel that, right? Mind pop there. Okay, good. Now you could have that left foot, which is underneath, to send it towards the right side and then grab it with the right hand, your foot. From here, you could drop that right knee down. It doesn't have to be on the ground, but I want your hip joints to be stacked. So you could adjust here, there, right? You feel that. So both hip joints should be stacked. That's the goal for this twist. And just stay here. Ooh, that's so good for the lumber. Breathe. Good. Release back to your center. Feet down. Knees are bent. Left leg up. And then you're going to bend the left knee. Cross it on top of the right thigh. Good. Figure four shape. Same thing what we did earlier. Thread that left arm underneath the left leg and grab the backs of your knee or thighs. From here, flex the feet and send it towards you. Whoo. Ah, the hips. Ooh, so good. Stay there. Notice that every time you do with the second round, you know, it could be a lot uh, faster than the other or the first one because everything starts to get loosened up with your muscles, right? All right, from here, grab the left knee with the right hand, left hand to the left side, and you're just gonna twist again to the, ooh, opposite direction. Bam, love that pop. <laughs> you could drop that foot if that feels so good for you. Again, option to send that right leg or underneath, which is underneath leg, bend the knee and cross it to the opposite direction as you grab that foot with the left hand. Good. Now again, stack your hip joints. You can adjust that left knee now to where it's comfortable for you as you stack. Boom. Good. Stay there and twist. You could open up, puff out your chest to really feel that twist. Breathe. All right, back to your center. Good. Now we're just gonna roll ourselves, okay? Hug your knees first and then kiss your knees. You're not kissing, you're just pretending. <laughs> like a, you know, like this egg shape or fetal position. 
hold. You're lifting your head to really warm up that cervical spine. This is a great way to just warm it up. Good. And then relax your head, drop it down. Good. Lift the le uh, legs to radiance and you're gonna flex the feet whoo, and point. So it doesn't matter if you're way up higher, wherever you are, where you could keep your knees straight, right? So if you're starting to bend here, then lift it up to where you could keep that straight and then flex your feet from there. Okay, we're gonna be different here, so find what works best for your flexibility. Good, hug your hands or your ankles with your hands. And then I like my index finger pointing towards that heel. Good, from that position, you're gonna point the toes all the way. Point and hold. Three, two, and one. Now relax, whoo. And then you could start to kind of uh, pop your uh, toes if you like that. Of course, if not, that's fine. But I kind of like to um, touch each toe, you know, massage it. Ooh, sometimes it's popping for me. And then shake it up. Good, you could even shake it without the hands, depending on you. All right, now we're gonna start to rock ourselves sitting up, okay? Bend your knees, grab the backs of your knees with your hands. And then you're gonna start to rock forward and back. Okay, so lift first, so knee to your chest as you lift the hips up, right? You feel that. Good. Now from that lifted position, you're gonna rock now forward. Baby rocks and lift, right? So try to keep that knee to your chest as you round your back, right? There, so you're really feeling massage in your spine. Good. Now all the way up, whoop, and Sit down. <laughs> Beautiful job. All right, now adjust yourself on the mat to your dandasana, L-shaped position. And then let's fold this way. So first, I like your feet um, together. And then open your butt cheeks to the right and to the left. As you reach your hands all the way up, breathe in. Lengthen your spine, navel in, rib cage down, and exhale all the way. Now stick out your butt until you tilt and really arch your back. Good, and fold. Good, wherever you are in your fold, just find the yummy fold. So if it's way up higher, right, making sure that you're following the natural arch in your back. Good. All right, sit back up and let's do some twist. Left foot outside of the right knee. Okay, hug your left knee first with the right arm, this way, and then inhale, reach your hands all the way up, the left hand. Exhale, drop it down behind you and look to your left hand. Now twist here, good. Now right foot, point it. Breathe, feel that compression in your belly. I like starting also with compressions and twists. Good, back to your center. Whoo, now figure four shape, same thing. Inhale, reach up. Now flex the right foot this time, exhale to fold. Good, you could either drop the forearms, feel the right leg stretch here. Release. And back to your dandasana. Good. Right foot outside of the left knee. And then hug it again with your left arm this time. Woo! Good. Now try to twist first. Preparing for that. Left femur is straight or neutral position. Toes are pointing up first. Right hand sweeps all the way forward and up. And exhale, drop it behind you. Look to your right hand. Good. Stay there, compress and twist. Good. Now from here, point that left toes all the way. Breathe. Good, release. Drop into your figure four shape, heel down, toes are up for the left foot. Inhale, reach up, 
Exhale again, fold all the way down. Forearms drops down if that feels good. Good, now we're fully warmed up, hopefully. We're gonna warm up the shoulders this time, after. All right, coming back up to sit up into your dandasana. All right, now to open up a little bit of our groin area, feet together, Baddha Kanasana. Grab your toes with your hands and try to really straighten your torso. Shoulders, roll it back away from your ears. Good. Inhale, puff out your chest, back bend. And exhale to fold. Ooh, did you hear that pop? <laughs> Love that. So with the fold, it doesn't really, the, the goal with folds, it's never really forehead down on the mat or the floor or the feet, right? The goal here is really focusing on always arching your back. At least this is how I like it. And the, when you arch your back completely, you will feel your uh, groin really grounded. And then you could actually just stay here, right? But then depends on where you're at. Right? You want to feel that stretch and you're not never rounding your fold, right? This is not the goal. Forehead to uh, mat, that's like where a lot of people can get you know, injured with the back. It's actually not really good for your back. So you want to really arch that. Whew. And then you could from here, from that arched back, you could start to pulse it up and down. Good. Ooh, feel that with your groin, right? Hips are popping. All right, now from here, we're just gonna do windshield wiper, right? So you in your butterfly pose or Kanasana, have your feet to the mat and twist to the left or drop your knees to the left, lift it up, drop your knees to the right. Lift it up and to the left. Good, up to the right. Up and the left. And as you go with each try, you want to go deeper with a twist. So as you go, do it, dropping down, twisting your body more. Again, up, drop, and twist. Up, drop, twist. Good. So we're adding in. Drop and twist. Up, drop, and twist. And I'll meet you in the twist here. Good. From this right position, wherever you are, right knee for me is... Bent, you're gonna straighten that left leg coming to your pigeon pose. Good. Now let's wiggle the pigeon here. You always want that groin to feel very grounded, right? Everybody's gonna be different in the pigeon. If your pigeon is way up higher like this, and this is where you're at, that is fine. What you want is that knee to be out of your torso and not forward because there's really not much happening there. You want it out because your purpose here is to really open up the groin area only unless you're very much flexible you could do whatever you want now right <laughs> so you want to modify to your body good now you can pulse yourself up and down kind of like doing cobra waves good so from whatever is in front of your uh leg mine is the right i want you to twist to the right, wherever that front leg is. So if it's the left, you wanna twist to the left, okay? From the twisted position, you're just gonna drop your forearms to the right side or to the left if your left foot is forward or left uh, pigeon. <laughs> just stay there. Breathe. Good. Now from here, drop the right forearm down and left. So you're kind of twisting and just like on the side of that pigeon. There's no right or wrong here. You're really just stretching. Left hand will now sweep back, up, forward, and down. Again, back, up, forward, and down. Good. Now you can do this at your own pace and really find what feels good for you. You want to rotate the full shoulder here, 360, right? And if it helps to really like bend your back, remember when you do back bending, shoulder is really important. So this is a great warm up for any deep back bends too, right? We started from supine or lower wrist and up, like a low position, good. Continuing to roll, big circles, woo. Kind of like
like you're swimming, but you're only using one hand. <laughs> you're gonna drown if you're in the water. <laughs> okay. All right. Now all the way, drop the left forearms down and see if you could actually twist further. Yes, you can, right? So when you twist, breathe in and twist to exhale. Good. So with each exhalation, you can twist further or farther. All right. Slowly fingertips towards you as you lift your torso up. Good. Now you're going to send the left leg all the way. Woo! Swing it forward on top of the left, right knee. So I'm just going to adjust myself so you can see better. So left knee for me is on top. Right hand sweeps all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale to bend that right arm. Tap your back. Inhale. Left hand sweeps behind you. And exhale. Clasp your fingertips. Good. It doesn't have to clasp again wherever you are. If you're over here, that's fine. So if you're very tight, I'll show you my back. If you cannot clasp, this is a great technique, right? So this one is easy. You could do that top hand. With the left hand, you could actually do just this position, right? So from here, you could help that left shoulder to really push with the right hand. And as you help it, you could lift, 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 lift. And eventually, you will get your proprioception good with that. I did not start this way either. It's really hard actually. Okay, inhale up and exhale to fold. Last one, inhale up and exhale to fold. Good. All the way up, release the bind and then shake it up slow and controlled here as you release and shake. Good. <laughs> now wherever you are, I'm just going to face you here on the other side. Left leg now is going to be forward and send or swing the right leg back. Okay, we're gonna do pigeon on the other side. So wiggle your pigeon wherever you are. If you're again, if you're high, you could actually do some pulses this way. No pushing, just to where you could keep your end range, right? And then, and then if you could really not sit all the way down, you could always have like a pad there, rather blocks, blanket, so that you could sit down and rest in that position. All right. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, fold. From the fold position, now you could actually drop the forearms to the left. Breathe in. Exhale, twist some more. Good. All right. Now from here, drop the left forearms firmly as you lift the right hand back forward and down back up forward and down back up forward and down do more really twist and side stretch as you rotate the shoulders you should really feel this also in your shoulder blades swim half swim <laughs> ooh if you want to do the reverse rotation too, you could also do that. Right? And then you could even cactus the arms and straighten forward. Cactus and straight. Again, cactus and straight. If you want to balance out with the other side, you could also do that. Just pause and then do the other side. Good. All the way up, breathe in, reach both of your hands up, and exhale, you're gonna twist to the left side. Good, we're twisting more. Stay there for a bit, breathe. Whew. And back to your center. Good job, all right, we're preparing to flow. When you're ready, you're gonna plant your hands firmly down. Okay, hands or shoulders distance apart. I like my index fingers pointing forward. Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee and hips up. You're gonna send your knee to your chest and send it to your figure four shape. Good, now adjust yourself here to your downward facing dog length or distance and then find your downward dog. <laughs> 
Okay, good. So now we're fully warmed up. We're gonna flow in this position. Okay, adjust your right foot where it's comfortable for you to come into. You could even try first high plank and then see if you could dip your hips slowly. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're only up here. It doesn't matter. So wherever you are, where you could dip your hip, adjust that back foot. Good, to your up dog. Again, down my dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, roll your spine forward, coming to your high plank. As you dip your hips, good. Up dog in your figure four shape. Back to your down dog. And then roll your spine forward, high plank, dip your hip. Up forward facing dog. Good. Last one. Down dog. Roll forward. And upward facing dog. Good job. Now back to your downward facing dog. And you're gonna send the left knee to your chest. Hold five, four, lift it high. Three, two, and one. Drop the left foot inside of the left hand. Finding your crescent lunge. Breathe in. Exhale. Pivot yourself to your warrior two. Good. Left hand forward and up. Breathe in. Exhale. Whew. Reverse the wire. Back to your wire two. Good. And all the way, you're going to straighten the front knee. Good job. Left hand drops down. Finding your trikonasana. Right hand sweeps all the way up. Good. Now, all the way. Hands to a horizontal shape. Now, you're going to shift forward and to the back. Or left and right. Wherever you're facing. Making sure my mic, I hope you can still hear me. Continue to shift left and right, good. Now, from here, T-shaped position. You're gonna send your hands all the way, right hand down and up, both hands. And now you're kind of like in this pyramid shape. Adjust your right foot now to your warrior one position, finding this like long pyramid shape, right? All the way, you're gonna dive halfway through and see if you could drop your hands down. Good, stretch here. Breathe in, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Good, fold it all the way, good job. Right hand drops down to the right side of your left foot, and then left hand sweeps up, reverse pyramid. Good, stay there. Or reverse trikonasana. <laughs> Whatever you feel here, that this shape is good. Left hand drops down, and you're gonna come into your lizard. Bend the front knee. Now you're gonna scoot that left foot outside of that left hand. Open it up, good. As you drop both forearms slowly down, good. Adjust the back foot to where it is comfortable for you for this lizard lunge. So you're gonna shift yourself forward and back. Now, hollow your body, dip it down for five. Hollow and hips down. Three, two, just breathe and one, all the way down. Good. Drop the back knee down and hands on the mat. Lift yourself up. Good. Finding your Anjaneyasana. You could adjust the left foot now, uh, hip distance apart, feet. Okay, from here, your Anjane, you can point that back toes and straighten the front knee. Good. Half splits. You could either stay in your half splits, otherwise, if it's within your practice, you could go on to your first Hanumanasana on this class. Good. Or this, yeah, this class. <laughs> Full splits, front splits. Whew, how are you doing? My hair is a mess. <laughs> All right, stay there. And you can pulse yourself up and down. All right, with more twist, you could have your right hand all the way up, breathe in, left hand down, and all the way to the left side. You could either drop your hands, or if you're a lot bendier, you could drop your forearms. Kind of what we did earlier. This is great. We're gonna warm up for all the back bends. Good. Coming back all the way up. OK, 
Okay, you're gonna plant both of your hands firmly down, right? I like, I already know the distance for me to go into a downward dog. So ideally, you can find your distance as long as your elbows are straight. Again, this is gonna be different depending on each individual's bone structure, right? Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee, left heel is pressing firmly down, toes are up, and you're gonna slide that left foot back to your downward facing dog slowly. So you're gonna hollow your body all the way, trying to keep both legs as straight as possible, right? It doesn't have to, if there's a bend, that's fine. But just try your best and fat back to your downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Now roll your spine forward and roll it back. Roll forward and back. Good. Now right foot up all the way and you're just gonna send it into your knee to chest, lift it high, hold it for three, two, lift it high, and one. Right ankle will be now on the left thigh. Good. Now, you could try to figure four shape again, kind of like stretch first this way. So you're bending that left knee, and from that bent knee, strain the left knee for your downward facing dog in this figure four shape. Good. So what we did earlier, we're gonna do it again. Hook that right foot to that left leg firmly as you roll your spine forward, high plank, and dip the hips. Good, upward facing dog. For three, roll it back, down dog. And again, forward. Breathe. Two. And last one, find your own breath rhythm here. Roll forward. And dip your hips up dog. Breathe in, I like this. Breathing in and exhale two, downward facing dog. Ooh, good job. Now, send that right knee to your chest as you shift forward. Good, hold, hold. And you're gonna drop that right foot inside of that right hand, good. Adjust yourself and you're gonna find again your crescent lunge, hands all the way up, breathe in. Exhale, warrior two. It's just gonna be a quick transition, breathe in, right palm up, shift forward, exhale, reverse the warrior. Breathe in, back to warrior two, and straighten the front knee. Good. Right hand drops down, trikonasana, left hand sweeps all the way up. Breathe in, breathe out. Shaking the legs, we're gonna do a little bit faster this time now that we're fully warmed up. Okay, from here, you're gonna come into your T-shape, this was position, beautiful, and shift forward and back or right and left again. You could have your right palm up or down or switch it up, right? Kind of like a dance move. <laughs> or you could do reverse. This is so good to really get that spine mobility. Whew. You want that as fluid as possible. Breathe. Good, more. Whew. So good. All right, steady, T-shape. And again, left hand will drop down as you pivot simultaneously that back foot to that warrior one position, pyramid shape up. Inhale, reach up, navel in, exhale, T-shape and halfway fold. Good, you could either stay there or you drop the hands down, breathe in, heads up, <laughs> exhale to fold. Stretch in your pyramid. Good. Breathe. Left hand drops firmly down. So this is gonna be depending on where you're at, right? Ideally, you want it stacked on top of the left shoulder. Everything is stacked with the joints. Right hand sweeps all the way up, revolved pyramid. Look up. Breathe. Find your balance. Focus there. Find your center. Good. Drop the right hand firmly down. Good. You're gonna shift your weight forward as you bend the front knee, drop the back knee down, Anjaniyasana. Point the back toes. Good. Stay there. Whew. Sink the hips deeper or lower. 
as you scoot the right hand in front or in front of the inside and then the right foot sticks outside finding your lizard lunge you already know this guys <laughs> you you got this good now from there you could drop the forearms down okay again this is going to depend on you so the parallel of that foot like this 90 degree is for more like really uh if your hips are super open right but typically we start this way like a half v shape if this is too e easier for your hips but if it's too easy then it's about time to get that parallel right and just widen your stance good curl the back toes under lift the back knee up hollow your body and we're gonna do this for five dip the hips good four dip the hips three hollow dip good two last one one hold for three two one dip the hips drop the back knee untuck the back toes and hands all the way to your mat and torso up good lift or straighten that front knee who half splits again you could adjust it closer to you your feet hip distance apart if you like <clears throat> who again you could either stay here or slide all the way to your hanumanasana beautiful again point the toes and flex stay for a little bit breathe in all the way up exhale drop both hands to the right side Good. you could either stay there twist your body so this is great you could grab that right leg or left leg so from here right this is great to square your hips right i like my hips always squared because it's so much better for your hip mobility okay from that position now you could drop the forearms or maybe you want to do it the other way around drop the forearms first and then you could grab that back leg with the right hand Good, coming back all the way up. Whoo, shaking the legs, huh? All right. Now from here, plant the hands firmly down, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee and hips. Now all the way, heel is firmly grounded down and toes are up as you slide it all the way back to your downward facing dog. Good job. All right, reset, take a moment. Okay, let's flow it out. Roll your spine forward, high plank, shift forward, shoulders past the wrist, chaturanga, squeeze your elbows towards your rib cage. Good. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Feet together. Prepare yourself as you lift the left leg all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to chest. And you're going to wave your spine here forward and back with your knee to your chest you're gonna slide your left foot outside of your right hand for your fallen tr uh, triangle right hand sweeps all the way up as you pivot that back foot down good from this position slide your left foot more forward good and slide it back good forward pass that left hand and back good forward and back Good. From this position, you're going to bend the, that knee. Okay, stack it on top of the right leg. Figure four again. And from this position, bent knee. You're going to grab the outside of the left hand. Okay? As you straighten that right knee, you're going to straighten the left leg, finding your Vishva Mishrasana. This way. It doesn't have to be fully open wherever you are. Just try your very best. Lift the hips. Breathe. Straighten your leg as much as you can and drop it to your fallen triangle. Beautiful. Left hand, a uh, right hand drops down, coming to the back ball of your foot now, and you're gonna slide that left foot towards the hip line. And shift forward, chaturanga, lift up, push up, and knee to your chest. Good. Send it up, 
three-legged dog, and let's flow it out with that one-legged high plank. Good, shift forward, shoulders past the wrist, chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing dog. Good, let's make this faster. Feet together, right leg lifts all the way up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to chest, and you're gonna wave. Breathe, find your steady breath as you wave. And right leg, send it outside of the left hand, fall in triangle, left hand sweeps all the way up, pivot that back heel down, good. Now again, forward, I can't slide because of the rug, <laughs> and slide it down. Again, slide it up, all the way, slide it down. Good, from that slide, bend the right knee, and stack it on top of the left thigh. Good, same thing, bend the left knee, grab the outside of the right foot as you straighten both knees now. You're gonna stretch it to your Vishvamitrasana variation all the way, lift it high, lift the hips high. Five, four, find your balance. Three, two, and one. Stack it again on top of that thigh and left hand drops down and pivot yourself Back to your downward facing dog. Good, uh, we're just changing it up. Roll yourself forward, upward dog. Roll it back, downward facing dog. Right leg lift all the way up, three-legged dog. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Again, breathe in. Exhale to roll your spine forward, higher plank. Good, inhale, shift forward past the wrist. Exhale, chaturanga, upward dog. Downward facing dog. Good job. <laughs> Send your knee down. Good. Whew. Now this time, you're gonna send that right knee to your chest as you cross it to the left. Good. Shoelace legs, we're gonna do our um, Gomukhasana on this side. We did it earlier. <laughs> left hand sweeps all the way up, breathe in. Exhale to bend the left elbow, good. Now we're gonna grab it with the other hand, breathe in, right hand sweeps back, exhale to bind. Roll to help, good, inhale, lift up, exhale to fold, lift up, and fold. Last one, and fold. All the way up, loose in the hand in the bind, whoo. Slow and controlled, grab the right ankle or the foot with the left hand, straighten that thing and you're gonna send it behind the right shoulder for your compass pose. Good. Twist. Now it's easier with the compass, right? After the whole warm up. You could actually go back to this video for a full warm up if it's, if it's enjoyable to you. <laughs> Sometimes I like to grab that left foot with the right hand as I still continue to hook that right shoulder, right? And then close to my pelvis. Whew, and then twist. This is a, a very deeper stretch for sure. Okay, what we're gonna do a little bit of a different thing. From here, gonna drop that right hand down. So all the way forward. And then you're gonna come onto the left knee. Good, nice. And then curl that left toes under and Vishva Mitrasana variation. Slide that uh, right leg down. Good, stay there, look to the left side. Three, two, and one. You're gonna drop it, right, hand, right foot slowly down, good. And coming into your low lunge. All right. <laughs> From your low lunge, lift the back knee, high lunge. Pivot that back heel down, warrior one. Good, from your warrior own position, exhale as you find your T-shape, lean your belly to your thigh. Good job. From here, airplane your hands behind you as you lift that back leg, finding your warrior three, strong right leg standing there. Good, find your T-shape. You could have your hands to your sides to see if you're in a T-shape position or in a prayer position. Or if you're up for that challenge, you could reach all the way forward, that's a lot harder but you got this. Wherever you are, hold. Three, two, one. Back to warrior one, slow and controlled. Bend the knee and all the way up. Good, all the way, hands down. Step back to your high plank. Chaturanga, shift forward. And downward facing dog. 
Good job. Right leg lifts up this time. Breathe in. Exhale, left forearm drops down. Funky forearms, right knee bends. Good. Funky dolphin, stay there for a little bit. And stretch that right knee. Good. Whew, we're gonna cross it as far as you can to the right side of your hand. Beautiful job. Coming all the way, finding now your wide-legged stance. <laughs> Inhale, flatten your back, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Good. Now inhale again. And exhale, you're gonna face the opposite direction of your mat. Good. Pivot your feet. Pyramid shape. Good. Drop the back knee down, low lunge. Good. And this time, untuck the back toes. From here, left hand will now be underneath that thigh. Good. Try to hook it, right? You're just gonna hook all the way. You can shift forward and back here, making it mobile. Good. Left hand will drop next to your left foot. It doesn't have to be parallel, just to where you can drop it. Good. From here, that back shin will pivot to a 90 degree angle. Good. <laughs> doesn't have to be exact, right? From here, shift forward. You're sandwiching that left shoulder now. And left knee will bend. Grab the left foot with the right hand outside as you sandwich that left arm. Beautiful job. Now we're going to do Vishwamitras and a variation on this side. Left leg, send it all the way straight as you thread your head to that right arm. Hold. Find that steady, steady um, Vishwamitrasana. Which side is harder or easier for you, right? And also, what side was easier for you to get there? You want to really get back to that? Film yourself, maybe. And drop all the way down. Good. You could either stay here, right? Otherwise, you just like relax. If you're up for flying lizard, let's do it, right? I like this transition. From here, Vishwamitrasana, I sandwich my left arm all the way up to that upper elbow or that upper left elbow. From here, drop the left right hand down and that left foot, I like to hook it with my flying lizard. Otherwise, if not, that's okay. Pivot that back shin now to the uh, parallel to your mat as you curl the toes under, lift the knee up. Good. From here, bend your elbows and you could shift forward as you lift that right leg up. Flying lizard. Good, hold and drop. You could, so what I do earlier is have your hands closer to your shoulders, the stance or the distance. From there, I hook that left foot. I'm just gonna show you the other variation to that lower arm or forearms as you do this with me. Or actually upper arm rather. So see which one is easier, right? So upper elbow, it depends on everything. <laughs> okay, now slide yourself to your pigeon pose. Breathe in and exhale, hands drops down, knee to chest. Good. Lift the left leg all the way up and let's take our vinyasa. Good. Downward facing dog. Stay here and reset. Find stillness. Open your eyes if you close it with me. Left leg lifts all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to chest. You're just going to drop it inside of your left hand. Beautiful job. Coming again to your wire one on this side. Pivot that back heel down. Breathe in. Reach up. Exhale, T-shape with your hands. Lean onto your belly. And lift that back heel up. And shift your weight forward. Strong standing left leg as you lift the right leg all the way up. Coming into your Virabhadrasana 3. Good. Find that T-shape with your body. And we're going to hold it longer this time. Look one point down in front of you. Again, you could place your hands anywhere you like. Strong standing leg, point that lifted toe if you like, and hold. You're gonna swing that right leg forward, finding your tree pose. We're not gonna drop into warrior one this time. Good. And send that right knee all the way up as high as you can. 
to your chest and then send that foot inside of that up inner left thigh. Good. Send it as high. You could adjust it with your hands if you didn't make it there. Ooh, and relax here. Look straight ahead. Find your balance. Good. Reach all the way your hands up. Breathe in. And exhale. You're going to grab that heel. Right heel with the right hand. Beautiful job. Now left hand sweeps down. Horizontal shape. As you send that right leg all the way up. Good. Standing splits variation. Hold. That left leg is burning, huh? <laughs> and slowly drop it all the way down. Breathe in. Reach your hands all the way up. And exhale, you're gonna dive all the way down. Beautiful job. Bend your knees and you're gonna jump back to your high plank. Beautiful. Now shift forward. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Good. You're gonna prepare to hop forward, okay? Look forward, inhale. Exhale, hop forward in between your hands. Oops, sorry about that. And then all the way, breathe in. And exhale, hands to heart. Samasthiti, as you bring that left leg up, send it in towards your chest. Open it up to the left side. And send that foot inside of your right thigh. Stay here, look straight ahead for 10. Seven, six, Five, four, steady your breath. Three, two, one. Breathe in all the way up, hands up. And exhale, grab the left heel with the left hand. Right hand now drops down to a horizontal line as you kick that left leg all the way up. Good, standing splits. Point that left toes all the way. Now from this position, we're gonna try to bend our torso. Rather, so hinge from the hips as you find your halfway. Good. Halfway down, finding your balance. You got this, guys. All right. From this position, you're going to send that left leg. Good. Back. All the way. Finding your Virabhadrasana 3. Good. All right, you're gonna step it back, slow and controlled, finding now your goddess pose as you pivot yourself towards the mid-center or midline of your mat. <laughs> Good, cactus your arms, close your forearms, breathe in as you open. Exhale to close. Again, breathe in, exhale to close. Breathe in, exhale to close, all the way up, stretch your knees. Exhale, fold all the way down, heels turns out. Good. Now you could drop the forearms. Let's take our inversion here. So you have the option to cup your head with your, you know, handstands, tripod headstands, or if you want to do forearm stands with me, let's do Pinchamayurasana, whichever you desire. I'm going to do this on a straddle position, okay? So I'll teach you in a little bit of a straddle lift or press. Lift, shift forward, so I want your forearms closer to your feet right as much as you can this allows for a, an easier press right from this position you're just gonna play with lifting the heels up and down first right and now shifting your weight all the way forward lift your heels all the way up tippy toes now you're you're feeling that you're stacked hopefully you are so you're stacked your hips on top of the forearms right and drop Again, as you lift and shift, you're really feeling that compression, right? So what we did earlier as we were twisting, that is the compression that you want, right? So you're scooping your belly. Ribcage is really drawing in. Navel is in. All right? Now let's press up. Forearms firmly down. Make sure that your elbows are not splaying out. You want that actually really on below the shoulders or even closer is better. <laughs> because it, the tendency is as we press up, see, we're rolling the forearms out, right? And that's really just normal. That's why I want my forearms closer than my shoulders distance. As I press up, it then opens up my shoulders and maybe you're now floating, right? All the way. 
You could either stay in a straddle or all the way up. I'm just gonna stay in my straddle. I like to open up my hips and maybe diamond shape. Find your shape wherever you are. I just want to find my balance, straighten my legs and drop it all the way down. Good. Halfway left, breathe in and exhale to fold. Now you wave your spine to the left and right if that feels good. And also remember, whenever you're doing inversions, right, you want to save energy from for your going down so that you don't just flop as you go down, right? So you want to gauge yourself. All right, I'm sure you guys know it already. If you're always doing this, you're going to pivot yourself to the left, pyramid shape here, and then shift forward and back. So heel is lifted behind and heel grounded down in front, right? Toes are up. So kind of switching. And then step it back and let's do that on the other side. Forward and back. Okay, for finale, we're gonna do wheel pose. All right, when you're ready, step your foot forward, inhale, reach all the way up and exhale hands to your heart space. Good. Now, we're gonna do <laughs> our last asana back bend before we end in Shavasana. Open your feet as wide as your mat and coming down all the way as you reach your hands up. Palms to touch, exhale, malasana down. Good. From this position, we're gonna transition to our wheel pose, okay? So right hand will sweep back, fingertips facing towards the midline. Okay, so this space, it depends on you, right? From here, you're gonna lift the hips up, good, and drop. Other side, left hand, sweep behind, fingertips towards the midline, lift the hips up, and drop. Good, again, right hand, lift the hips, and see if you could now, left hand drops down, see if you could swing it behind, right? If it's not accessible, you could try the other side, because one side is always gonna be easier for you. So find that side for you, left hand drops to the midline, right hand sweeps forward, as you lift the hips up, all the way, to the left and then to the back, right? If it's touching, then that's great. It means you're ready for that. So find what works best for you. You're gonna drop the hands down and let's transition to wheel. Otherwise, if you can't do that, I'll, we'll meet you in wheel pose. Adjust yourself. Ideally, you, you want your hands stacked below your shoulders, right? Adjust yourself. And then now you could start to close your feet or depending on you, if you want it hip distance apart, that's great too. Okay, so now we're gonna press our head forward. So you're threading your head to your arms, right? So you're not here. You want your head all the way forward. Okay, from here, if you want to straighten your knees, then that's great, right? This allows for so flexible spine. You should be very flexible or mobile at this point after all the practice. And you could just play with this. Bend the knees and straighten. Now find your breath, right? So how do you want to breathe in here? I like mine to inhale as I press forward. Exhale as I bend my knees. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Good. Now stretch and stay there. Now if you're up for more challenge, let's see if you could come into your one-legged wheel, right? So I want your feet together. This allows for that triangle shape and then one leg will start to lift up. Bend the knee first as you lift the right leg up. See if you could balance and hold and drop. Good. Now let's do that on the other side. Feet together and Bend the left leg, whatever leg did you start or didn't do, and all the way, lift it up. Try to straighten both of your elbows. Three, two, and one, all the way down. And drop your head, crown of your head first as you bend the elbows, and 
all the way down. That was very intense. All right. <laughs> From this position, supine, you can hug your knees. To counteract the back bend, you could just lift your head up. You could even hug your knees underneath or below your thighs or underneath the knees. <laughs> and try to straighten, continuing to lift the head up and bend. It's another way to counteract. Really easy way. <laughs> Yay! That was very tiring, huh? That wheel is always tiring and it's hard to talk. All right. Now from here, you could start to play with this. Maybe rolling your knees to one big circle or direction. Massaging the spine and the glutes. And then reverse the rotation. Good. Now let's drop the knees to one direction. Left. Right hand to out. And then drop it to the right side. Good. Now extend your legs all the way out. And we're going to end in Shavasana. Ooh, that was good. Now feel your body. Thank your body for this practice. Thank you so much, guys, for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed that long one, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye! If you want to see my first impression on this one, I'm going to be linking it down below so you guys can check it out.